Okay, whoa, whoa, so that really wasn't the plan for today, although that's probably more fun than what we are going to be doing. Uh, what I have is a, an open Word document, and what we're going to do is we're going to start to, to make some instructions for people. So there's two reasons for this. Number one is take a task and break it down. You all know how to do stuff. I want you to get to the point where you can tell someone else how to do stuff. Second thing is, you know how sometimes you go to YouTube to get a uh, instructional video on how to do something? We're not going to make a video, but we're going to make a document that allows us to do that. There will probably be some weird edits uh, just because I take a long time to do certain things that you can do a whole lot faster. Uh, so I'll pause it in between. And I'm also going to close this door right over here. So hang on. Pause. Okay, so that was strange edit number one. Okay, open word document. What I want to do is I want to, uh, I'm going to go to insert. And I'm going to go to shapes. And I'm going to just pause here for a moment. Now, I'm going to find on the keyboard a button that says print screen. Now, it won't say the entire words print screen. It's just going to say, you know, print. It's going to be no vowels. And for me, it's this button right here, there. And at that point, years ago, your printer would start churning out whatever was on your screen. But right now, all it does is it takes a picture of what's on your screen and puts it on the clipboard or puts it in memory and now if I paste so for me I'm going to do the keyboard shortcut control V if I paste it now I have a picture of what was on my screen okay now uh, it's a picture so I'm going to go to the format option for the picture and I'm going to find the button that says crop and that's going to be down on the right hand side and if I crop that then what I can do is I can just zoom in, oh, I don't know, I'm going to do, zoom into here for something. And then I click the Enter key, and I've now resized my picture. I can now make that picture big, if I want to. And then I can uh, do a few things. So I'm now going to go back to the Insert menu. And if I want to tell somebody how to do something, then I can go to Shapes. And let's say I want to take a circle. And let's say I want to tell them that, hey, uh, go to the Insert menu. Now, I don't want that because that's not very good. So I'm going to take that shape. I'm going to reformat that shape. And I'm going to have no fill because then I can, I can see through it. Under Line, maybe I'll have the line to be a different color. Red's kind of obvious. I'm going to make the line style to be just a little bit thicker three point and I'm not going to do too much more other than that so now what I have is I have a big red box a big red circles of oval around the insert menu and if I want to have that a couple of times I can copy and paste that and I can easily move that around and if I need to adjust it from there I can do that oops not that just the one. If I then want to say use that to make a what's a good shape going to be eh, let's do one of these. Okay. Now from here one of the unfortunate things is I cannot group the uh, picture and the circles. Um, some come in as graphics, line-based graphics, which I can group, and the other one comes in as more of a picture, which I cannot group the two together. And of course, I would probably want a title on this document, but at this point, I could then make arrows, back to shapes, make an arrow, and eh, let's do this. So now I have an arrow pointing toward that thing, and I probably want to do the similar kind of thing as I did before. And hopefully this is going to be awkward edit number two, because I cannot see myself wanting to fiddle around too much. Close that, and of course I can copy and paste that a couple of times. So I have an arrow for each thing. And really what I'm going to want to do here, so awkward edit number three. 
I also want some text boxes. So I'm going to go to Shapes, Text Box. I'm going to draw a text box. And then just to make sure that everyone knows what I'm doing, I'm going to say Insert Menu. Or insert Tab, I guess, is the proper name for it. Personally, I actually I should say that as step number one. Step number one, go to the Insert tab. And if I want to format the that, I'm going to have no line. I just don't like the lines in the text boxes. Eh, I might change my mind on that one. Copying and pasting the text box is a little bit more awkward, but it's still possible. You have to be careful that you're actually touching the box and not the text inside. Uh, now I am at shapes and then one more text box. Now for this one uh, the automatic numbering came up and you may or may not want the automatic numbering so mine is working this way from top to bottom and I'm okay with it right now but I might not like it later on. I have no idea what that thing is, so I'm just going to go box arrow, box with arrow. Okay. Now, if I'm trying to teach somebody how to make that box with the arrow, I'm in a bit of a pickle right now because if I take another screenshot of what I'm doing now, I'm going to get all of this instructional stuff. So I'm actually going to start a new document and I'm going to do more or less what I did before. I'm going to go to insert shapes following my own directions, find the box with the arrow down here. Then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click and drag. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I'm going to go back to my other document where I'm making the instructions happen. Paste it in this spot. Now I've got another one. Now I can make all those circles and things again and I've lost all those circles up here which is actually kind of funny to me. Um, so I should have planned this a little bit better. Anyhow, what I'm doing is I'm working through building a thing, building a shape, building a series of shapes while taking constant pictures and describing how I'm doing that. So we'll do a little bit better job of explaining this in class. But just to give you an overview of how you use A, screenshots, B, how you can take screenshots on one thing, paste them into another document, and then start building a pictorial, picture-based um, set of instructions on how to build things. And I'll tell you in class what it is I'm going to have you build and we'll go through some of this again. But this should be a good at least backup plan or introduction plan. Anyhow, we'll try that later.